Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to install Op Center into CentOS 7. It is very easy step, so let's start. Okay, so uh, before installing Op Center uh, into CentOS 7, if you didn't see how to install data stacks enterprise edition into centos 7 please go to my description and uh, take the link and please watch data stacks installation video uh, let's start the, uh, this is a few steps for installing okay so i'm just going to first edit uh, the repo for this uh, particular in which will be used for yum installation okay so i'm just right clicking on the screen open terminal just become sudo user so sudo su minus give your sudo user password okay clear as you can able to see that previously i'm already uh, as a data stacks I, I created that that for repo so no need to make any changes just go it down okay after that you have to do a simple thing just sudo yum install op center okay so just if you want to, to check that okay so it is it is very easy as i told you before in my previous video during the installation of data stacks enterprise edition that if you are as a root user or not root user you can in both case you can use sudo command okay so i'm just using right now sudo yum install op center press enter and you can able to see that installing uh, they are asking my permission for this for this packet and which size is 280 mb so just press y and right now after pressing y it will start to download my, my package so it will take a little bit of time so i'm just pausing my video once it will be downloaded then i will start its process thanks so as you can able to see uh, my install uh, installation is started because it is completed so it is running installation is started before one one more thing before install, uh, installing and downloading op center we have to check that particular op center should be compatible with the particular data stacks enterprise edition if it will be not um, it will, if it is not compatible then it will be not working so good okay so as you can able to see that my agent is verified okay so now i'm just going to clear my screen okay so right now i'm, I'm just uh, installed my op, op center now i'm going to check and going to show you that what happened after the installation okay so uh, just localhost and double it double it okay if you check right now i'm not able to connect with my op center okay so why just because our op center just because my op center we have to check that it is started or not means what sorry what is the status of my op center so i'm just going to check status okay and as you can see that it is inactive so what we have to do we have to just go and try to start it okay after the again check status and you can able to see that it is active and it is running now just clear it with double it double it this is the port this is the port for op center and press enter and you can able to see that my uh, op center is loading and it will come with this and that welcome data stack center this is completely uh, depending upon that your enterprise cluster so just uh, taking uh, started that and here you can do all the work of the op center which belongs to your uh, cluster and if you having some uh, own cluster which you, uh, which you created so you, you can go with the managing edition cluster and get starting like that and you have to uh, put the ip address for the particular uh, nodes okay so so thanks for watching this video if you have any issue regarding this so don't forget to uh, comment down as well as Please subscribe my channel and please support me. Thanks.